everybody, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer, and today we're going to be installing our wood stove pipe in our steel building. Now, this is a job that I've set up many a nights wondering how I was going to go about this process. Don't worry so much on it. Once you get started, things will come naturally to you if you've got any kind of mechanical sensibility. Um, this job isn't that bad. Uh, we, uh, we should have our wood stove fired up and running. Uh, by the end of the day today. This has been a approximately five to six hour project. So don't be scared to jump in head first on this. All right, so what we've got to do is get our stove. This is our pipe. We're going to get our stove piped up through the roof here. Uh, it sounds easy, but it's not easy. So um, I've got some black stove pipe I'm going to use up into the roof. And then I'm going to use some uh, insulated chimney pipe. And I'll show you that. And I have a uh, roof mount uh, uh, brace that goes up to mount the uh, insulated chimney pipe. And the reason I'm doing insulated pipe is because I don't want to discolor my tin. So what I've got here is a transition piece first, then a slider piece, then which rotates and allows me to move the pipe. I've got a T for a clean out and we'll put a cap on the back and then when I get ready to, I can clean it out easier. And then I have another piece of pipe, uh, black steel pipe, non-insulated, that I'm going to put up here. Okay, I'm just kind of pre-fitting everything right now to make sure things are going to work, things are going to look right, things are going to fit. So, pre-fitting to make sure everything fits, and uh, that's it. I'll show you my gasket here in just a second that I'm using to mount the uh, pipe through the ceiling. So the biggest, most complex detail of uh, installing this pipe is going to be this rubber high temperature uh, seal. And this goes up on the roof, fits flat with the roof, and this edge right here, it's malleable so that it, you're able to move it over top of the ridges that are on the uh, roof. And basically you just screw this down, you put some high temp RTV silicone around uh, liberally and uh, and once you get it down I'm going to silicone all the way around it again and this has to fit my uh, insulated pipe. So that's the most complex part of this. Um, I'm going to mark my spot here in a minute and uh, get ready to cut my hole. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today or I may get out there and do it tomorrow. I'm also going to cut this ring out. If you'll look it's uh, indexed here with numbers to tell you uh, what size. So and this is a deck type number eight, okay? So somebody gave us this wood stove. It's a craft stove. Uh, I'll show you inside. Um, it doesn't have any fire bricks in it right now, but we're gonna put some fire bricks in it uh, sooner or later. But pretty decent little wood stove, good for the shop. Has these uh, vent holes for fans, and this is the uh, rusty, crusty old fan uh, motor that I'm going to go through, check out, make sure it's all good, and that'll uh, blow heat out to the shop. So, may eventually uh, put some insulation in the shop, but for now, we're just going to get the stove going. I want to make sure that my pipe is straight and level. Uh, as level and straight as I can get it. I can always tweak it a little bit. You know, it's pretty flexible stuff. Um, I've got some high temp RTV and I'll RTV and screw these things together so that I don't get uh, a lot of smoke in here, carbon monoxide and such. We're up to the point where I'm going to have to measure and cut the tin, which is kind of eerie because we just built this building and I'm not really uh, uh, too confident in what I'm doing here. But we'll find out. Um, tell you about my clearances from the wall. The stove itself is 17 inches from the wall, which brings the stove pipe out to, let me see, 18 inches from the wall. This is a non-flammable surface. It should be good to go. I don't want it to get the tin really hot on the other side and discolor it. I want things to stay pretty. I want to do my best. So this is my best. Okay, so I've got my insulated pipe and my adapter to hook to my black metal. I'm going to slip this over this, like so. Kind of press it down and see where my lip is. 
okay? Then I'm, once I do that, I'm gonna cut it one up from where my lip is. So uh, this is six inch insulated pipe and I'm gonna cut maybe even two up because I want this thing to be really tight and I'll slip it down over there like a really tight condom. All right, so I've cut my piece out here and uh, basically if you look, it says eight and a half to nine right here. And there's several measurements. Measure your pipe and cut around the ring. Uh, I just cut around this index portion and um, it slipped over just fine. Looked kind of nice. So uh, now we're going to cut our hole and we're going to cut the hole just about the size of the inside diameter of this. So I'm going to measure the inside diameter and leave myself a few inches of play. So now here I am uh, unsafely on a ladder. My pipe top is here, my ceiling is here. I'm going to take a plumb bob, I'm going to drop it down, find the center of my pipe. This is all moderately adjustable because I can move this pipe and I can move the stove a little bit, you know, half inch, an inch, two inches, whatever I need to do in order to accommodate where my uh, hole is. Uh, that way my uh, insulated pipe is in the very center of my hole. Uh, this in no way is a code type thing. This is an agricultural building and this is an agricultural situation. So um, if anybody's using this as a guide, understand that this is not code. This is an agricultural building and I'm just trying to put a wood stove in it to keep things warm like my baby birds. And uh, when I have things to work on like the tractor or the gator in the shop in the winter time. And, or if I just want to come out here and cook a pot of beans, because that's what I want to do. So here we go. I've got my plumb bob, and we're about dead center here. So I'm going to put a little dot, and X marks the spot. That's where we'll start drilling. Uh, what we'll do is I'll shoot a self-tapping screw up through there and I'll take a piece of string, tie it to my Sharpie and draw a line, then we'll cut it out. So I'm up here and I've got a punch. I'm gonna punch my spot, mark my spot. All right, I've got my spot marked. I'm gonna zip me a self-tapper in here. So, I've got my uh, flashing piece here. I'm gonna measure the inside diameter, which is 14 inches. Uh, I'm gonna divide that by two, which is seven inches. And I'm actually gonna take a half inch extra off all the way around. I'm gonna leave a half inch all the way around. So, I've got seven. I'm gonna do it at six and a half, which will allow me a uh, 13 inch hole, uh, which is plenty of clearance for my insulated pipe to go through a non-flammable roof. So for reference points, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna measure off of my screw, uh, six and a half inches, and I'm gonna put several dots around, uh, maybe five or six dots all the way around that screw. reference marks made up. I've got a piece of wire. I'm going to wrap that around my self-tapping screw. Stretch it out good. And I'm going to use this as a reference. I'm going to twist it up on the screw lean up on the pin until I got a reference for my circumference. And again, this doesn't have to be exact, and this is just my way of doing it. So, there's my mark. I'm going to double check my measurements before I cut. Woo! 
So I'm going up the ladder, got my measuring tape, and I've got my piece of roof flashing. I'm looking up in here to make sure that I got plenty of bite for my roof flashing. And I've got plenty of bite, bite meaning this portion here will have the full width of contact right outside here. So we're good to go there. So I'm going to take my drill up here, I'm going to drill a few pilot holes to get started and then I'm going to cut the circular hole out with a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. Safety goggles are a must. I'm getting ready to cut a hole in the roof with the jigsaw using a metal cutting blade uh, made for thin metals. I also have uh, two different types of high temp silicone sealant. Uh, this is what I got at Lowe's and uh, this red high temp RTV is what I got at uh, Napa Auto Parts. We got our hole all punched out. We're going to go ahead and uh, get up on the roof and uh, slide our pipe down in, mount it up. My neighbor's going to come and help me hold the ladder and we're going to get busy with it. So I decided before I go up on the roof that I'm going to go ahead and install the cap um, on top of my insulated pipe here. Uh, this cap, I bought it Lowe's. Uh, it's uh, upside down. It's a universal chimney cap. Um, it also comes with a strap that goes around and holds it in place. Pretty simple, self-explanatory to put in. Um, also going to go ahead, I went on Amazon and purchased this brace kit. It's a bracing kit. Uh, purchased this bracing kit. I'm going to go ahead and attach part of the bracing kit to it so that when I'm up on the roof I don't have to spend too awful much time. I can go up there, uh, slide my uh, flashing over, screw it down, uh, and then get it all braced up, get off the roof, and be done. Now before I go up on the roof, I'm going to make sure I have all my materials. Uh, I've got the right uh, bit size to work with my uh, self-tapping screws, and uh, I'm going to bring my drill up. I'm going to get a pocket full of goodies, go up there, and try to go up and make it a one up and done trip. I don't want to make any more trips up on this tin roof than I have to. Up the ladder we go. Put our insulated pipe on. So I'm going to slide this over. Got all my goodies. Find my approximate center point. Should be able to do that with my level. Slide the level inside the pipe because it's smooth in there. Now I'm going to press fit. So we've got our general idea of where we're going to be here. Um, looking good. So I propped up a 2x4 uh, underneath here and I made sure that my uh, rubber seal is centered. We've got all our RTV in place here and we're getting ready to mount our brackets to get her done. So there we are. Uh, I mounted my braces here on each end. Got my seal uh, siliconed up. Uh, I siliconed all the way around the outside made a little bit of a mess what I call a four-year-old caulking job and uh, caulked very gently around the top edge put this band around we got a three-foot section of pipe with the cap and uh, I zipped some self-tapping screws to uh, secure this and these are mounted down to the building top so we'll see how she goes this is Josh Stony Ridge farmer coming from Stoneville North Carolina thanks for watching hope you learned a little something don't be scared. Get out there and do your work by yourself. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.
sweet satisfaction.